My name is Jerry Gary, and I, for a number of years, was an administrator at East Tennessee State University. Prior to being an administrator, I was a professor of economics and statistics at the university. So I did that for 30 years <clears throat> before I retired. I retired in 1995, uh, and uh, since that time, my wife and I have enjoyed traveling, hobbies, uh, craft type work, um, just enjoying life and taking advantage of uh, various opportunities that are afforded to us. This, this year was kind of a typical year for us. We usually spend a part of late January and early February in Tucson, Arizona at a rock and gem show that's an annual event which is known worldwide for the quality and, and breadth of uh, stones, uh, specimens, and other things that uh, uh, people can acquire. Uh, at Ghost Ranch, uh, I took a course in silversmithing, and at that course, in that course, we ranged from casting, so I made a tufa cast of a piece that later turned into jewelry, and then in addition to that, made uh, such things as bolo tie, and I worked on bracelet. In my uh, teenage years, I was raised on a farm in the Midwest, and uh, we had work year-round. In the summer, we had crops to take care of. In the winter, my father had sheep that we took care of. One particular trip, which or time, which was kind of interesting to me, was as a young person, I ventured out on New Year's Eve with some friends of mine, and we didn't return to our respective homes until about five in the morning. And you know, I, I knew every creek in the house so that I could sneak past my parents' bedroom. And so I was very careful in sneaking past their bedroom. And all of a sudden, I heard my father roll over. And he said, remember, it's 6 o'clock. we got to get out and start working. So his form of teaching me a lesson was by example. So I got one hour sleep, and he worked me all day. And uh, we had sheep to feed, it was in the winter, it was cold, we had snow on the ground, and so he kept me going from six in the morning until about six in the evening. And that was my lesson not to stay out late as I had New Year's Eve. Um, after I finished my bachelor's degree at Nebraska Wesleyan, I went to the University of Nebraska and worked on a uh, master's degree. The degree was in economics, and economic history. And it was particularly interesting in economic history because it was relating how history is influenced by economics. So it tied well with the idea of an economics degree. Uh, after that, by, I was under a General Electric Foundation grant to go to the University of Chicago and work in a, really a postdoctorate program but I didn't have the doctorate. I was one of two people that were selected out of 25 to do that. So after completing that, I went on a National Science Foundation grant to the University of Arkansas for my PhD. And the degree is in economics, statistics, finance, and agricultural economics. One thing that is of distinct interest to me is my great-grandfather served in the Civil War. He served on the northern side during the conflict and was involved in the war from approximately uh, 1860 through 1863. Served a full term where he was mustered in in Chicago and started on the Western Front with his first uh, engagements starting in at St. Louis, going to Springfield, Illinois, or Springfield, Missouri, Rolla, Missouri, down to um, Pea Ridge, uh, which is in the northwest corner of Arkansas. An interesting feature of that is that while he was at uh, Pea Ridge in, in Arkansas, he found a sheet of Confederate money. And it's an interesting sheet because it's, uh, needless to say, because it's an age, but it's also a sheet of money that has not been cut and it has like a 25 cent piece, a 50 cent piece, a dollar, and a two dollar piece uh, in it.